The great Chinese philosopher Confucius once said, it does not matter how slowly you go, only that you do not stop. Uh, well, isn't that nice? I mean, it sounds good in theory. There is no hurry then, is there? Thanks, Confucius. That really takes the pressure off. Mind you, I, I wouldn't be taking my time if there was a, a tiger chasing me or something. Something like that is definitely gonna stop you if you don't get a wriggle on. Terminal illness might get things moving too, but the sentiment is cute, or it would be if we did not live in the age of cell phones, emails, the 50-hour work week, and the ever-looming threat of nuclear war. to take into account the brevity of mortality. Uh, according to Google, the average life expectancy for males was about 81 years and for females 85 years in 2021. COVID might have shortened it a bit. Not, not sure, but the figures would suggest that it might be uh, prudent to hurry up and start getting things done. Even back in Confucius' own time, when presumably things were a bit less hectic, aside from the occasional invasion or civil war, life expectancy is often estimated to be even shorter at 22 to 35 years. So I am not sure why Confucius was so laid back about getting after it. sanguine as to his social position either, but I believe he was kind of a middle-class kind of guy. That might explain a bit. No need to rush when things are comfortable. Uh, maybe he just wasn't challenged and had things a bit too easy. If they ever invent a time machine, I will send him a copy of Jordan Peterson's book. I'll also send him English for Dummies. I'm not calling him a dummy, but that is a, a really useful series. Taught me to code. I also have The Complete Idiot's Guide to Overcoming Procrastination. So I will send that too in the hope that he gets off his butt and reads it. <laughs> 